So on Friday night, we posted a video that a lot of you guys probably watched with some Tesla leaks in it. And to be completely honest, we were sitting on gold and I'm not even sure that I completely realized the full spectrum of what we had when we made that initial video. So a source that we were close to sent us this picture and we just casually talked about the Cybertruck production starting in Texas. But here's what we should have said and I wanted to hop on here and just make a quick follow-up video. Before I posted this pic, basically all the community knew about the latest happenings with the Cybertruck was from Tesla's Q3 earnings call back in October. Yeah, the car's gonna be sick and sick. That's gonna be a Hall of Famer, next level. Sorry it took it longer than expected, but you know, there were a few things that got in the way, like insane <laughs> global supply chain yeah, shortages yeah. and pandemics. So Tesla briefly highlighted in their investor update letter and said that the truck was in the tooling phase. And after this, we saw a few covered images of the truck being moved through Giga Texas, but nothing uncloaked until the picture that we shared in our recent Tesla leaks video that I will link down below. So it was clearly a way bigger deal than I originally made it. In fact, my favorite comment about the video was this. And I really can't help but laugh at myself here. Um, but I also felt the need to give you guys a little update. I also wanted to thank Simon Alvarez over at Teslarati for his valuable insight. So here it is. And I'll break down why this is so significant. So you guys are looking at an image of a single piece rear mega cast of the rear end of the Cybertruck in this photo. So looking closer, we can see two main parts of the Cybertruck's body put together. One looks like mega cast and the other looks like it was hydroformed stainless steel. So I know this picture was taken in the first few days of December, so it looks like things are definitely getting underway over at the Giga Press. Simon really pointed out a number of interesting details about this mega cast. For one, Elon wasn't kidding when he previously said that the Cybertruck's rear requires a casting that's bigger than those used in the Model Y. He also went on to say that Tesla would have to use the largest casting machine available for the Cybertruck's body because it's such a large vehicle with a long truck bed and it has to be capable of carrying a lot of weight. Okay, so this had me thinking with a giant mega frame like this one, I'm curious what would happen if it was in an accident. Like how would the repair process be? So we've done some interesting behind the scenes videos at Tesla certified body shops and working on this truck would have to be a one of a kind of experience. It also seems obvious that the structure would have to be more resilient being that it's made of hydroform stainless steel. So does that mean that instead of replacing panels, they just hammer them out? So I'm curious how this whole thing would unfold. Also something that's really interesting in this recent Cybertruck image is that it doesn't look like it has a folding midgate. So this is significant because in Tesla's patent from last year, it looked as though they were hinting at folding rear seats. And I know a lot of people were really looking forward to that, especially the whole Tesla camping crowd. However, in my leaked image of the Cybertruck, it doesn't look like that is going to be the case. So I'll link the article from Teslarati down below if you want to read more about it. And I also wanted to thank you for subscribing to our channel. It has been a crazy few days. If you haven't noticed, we've really amped up our output on this channel and there are some exciting things happening in 2023. So please make sure you're subscribed. I promise you won't want to miss it. And hopefully you've been enjoying the extra daily content that we've been putting out. And if you like the shirt that I'm wearing, I'm going to offer you a discount code of 20% off with Kim 20. So check out our boutique. It's kimjava.com. And thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.